homeschool mom fitness. That's what we're talking about today. You know, when I first started homeschooling, I think I had four kids, maybe three. And I know that over the course of the last 25 years that I am no longer the slim, trim, amazingly fit homeschool mom that I used to be. Um, I was even working on my YouTube channel recently and looking through some of my old videos from even two years ago, and I've put on probably 20 pounds um, since then. And I know COVID and all that stuff has been a part of it. But by the end of this video, I want you to feel encouraged and have some tips that'll help you um, get back into shape if, like me, you found that uh, you're not so much in shape anymore. Um, so the very first thing is I want to encourage you to do more than nothing when it comes to your fitness. Do more than nothing. If you have a two-story house, use the upstairs bathroom instead of the downstairs bathroom. If, like me, you don't get out a whole lot. I got these um, five pound ankle weights that I wear if I go on a short walk or if I'm gonna be, if I'm cooking, I'll actually do leg lifts or I'll put them on when I'm blow drying my hair and I will do leg exercises while I'm getting ready. So do more than nothing, that's the first tip. The second tip is to give yourself some grace. Oh, yesterday was my 53rd birthday. I know, I don't look 53. <laughs> but we were flipping through the pictures at the end of the day and I was cringing looking at myself going, you have got to be kidding. I cannot believe that you've put on that, that last 25 pounds. I weigh as much today as I ever did pregnant, which is horrifying to me. Not because I think that we should be trim and slim and all that, but because I don't feel good. I don't, I don't feel light on my feet. And I've had, like you, a couple things against me over the last couple years, COVID. Don't get out and about as much as we used to. At the beginning of COVID, I sat down to make 300 face masks because my husband thought it would be super cool for us to donate 300 face masks. Well. You, you really can't do that in one sitting. And what I walked away with was a double hand injury that I'm still dealing with in 2022. And so I haven't been able to do the activity that I used to be able to do, which has slowed me down. And it's helped me put on weight that I'm ashamed to be carrying. And um, so anyway, at the beginning of this year, I am looking forward and I have a wedding to attend in August because one of our sons is getting married. And so I'm on a mission to get to dig underneath all this and find myself again. And it starts with doing more than nothing. Now I got that from my husband joined an online community called Street Parking. Um, and I think her name is Miranda and Miranda is the one that says do more than nothing. And I thought I can do that. I can do more than nothing. I can walk up and down the stairs extra in the day. I can um, put ankle weights on and go for a walk around the neighborhood. I can do leg lifts while I'm blow drying my hair or brushing my teeth, etc. So do more than nothing. Because you're gonna, if you're like me, I'm a snuggler and I'm a reader. And so you may spend the next five or 10 years less active as you homeschool your kids and that can add extra weight on. So being mindful of the fact that you need to keep your body together so that you can better serve your family, um, it's super important. So do more than nothing, um, be active, do something little like leg, weight, like leg weights, that's an easy thing to add. Um, drink, take your body weight in half and drink that much ounces of water every day. Start flushing your system with water. And then um, the last thing, if I didn't already say it, is just cut yourself some slack. Give yourself some grace. I probably have 45 to 50 pounds to lose. I'm not gonna be able to do that in a day. I'm just not. 
it's gonna take time. So last year, I made a goal that I would walk 100 miles a month. Now that was a lot and I loved it because I love walking. Um, but what you could do is you can set a walking goal. It can be modest, it can be 20 miles, it can be 10 miles, doesn't matter what it is. Um, in the descriptions, I'll link to this shoe coloring page that I have that I keep on my refrigerator as a motivator of staying active. So every time I walk a mile, I get to fill in a little thing. Um, so I did not walk 1200 miles last year. And I was so disappointed that it only walked 900. Seriously, Becky, come on, you're too hard on yourself. So make a chart or a graph of how many days a week you're going to go for a walk or how many miles you're going to walk or ride or whatever it is that you do and stick to it. Give yourself the give yourself the benefit of putting yourself first. Put your health first, your fitness first. Do more than nothing, drink a lot of water, um, stay active, take your kids out on adventures, and at the end of your homeschool journey, uh, you will feel as good physically as you do spiritually as your kids rock it in this world. Have a great day, see you soon.